when you got back to Ireland, when you uh, got back to Los Angeles as well, were, did people react differently to you? Everyone's asking the questions, how do I do it? A little lad from Dublin, up here, the envy of all you tiny dicked wood elves. I've got that money, I've got that fame. And soon, I'll buy every Blu-ray copy of Titanic and HMV as a birthday present to myself. How do I know what will happen? How am I such a great fighter, you may ask? Am I a robot with these reflexes, perhaps maybe a T-800 sent back in time to stop the creation and activation of Skynet? If so, I have most certainly failed. Many people wonder if I was made by Dana White to sell tickets. Perhaps a genetic clone of Bruce Lee and an old tree that's been struck by lightning. <laughs> Journalists are constantly trying to learn my true name, thinking it'll give them control, but like Nate Diaz here, such things have no power over me. My preparation for this fight started from that first moment I wanted to be a fighter. In 2008, before I went through puberty, I encountered an unplugged fortune teller machine at the end of a pier, and I wished to be big. Its name was Zoltar Speaks. People ask why I came here. I came here to fight. I came here to win. And you shall see, Nate Diaz. You may have defeated me in a previous round, but like my friend Philip K. Dick says, the Roman Empire never ended. <laughs> Each day is the same day, repeating of forever. And so I have not lost. I have only yet to win. People ask me about Nate Diaz. Nate Diaz. Nate Diaz will not exist after UFC 202. I have looked into his soul and I have seen my dinner ready for me to eat like a big slab of meat on Fred Flynn those plate I will eat him up and I shall shit out a smaller version of him who I will then presumably fight to win a tinier belt I am hunger I am void do you understand me I am the great darkness of a lost childhood made into the shape of a man and there will be a reckoning that we shall all bear witness and give birth to <laughs> that's gonna be amazing